Vincent? Need something. <laughs> of course. Should have known I wasn't the only one seeing ghosts. Shame, though. Some stories are better forgotten, including the Queen's. Know about the witch's card? I heard you might have it. The Emerald Witch? As luck would have it, the card does happen to be in my possession. But it could be yours, should you prove yourself worthy. Gotta beat Vincent. Let's do it. Okay, so there's gonna be one more match after this. Is, I forgot I needed the Emerald Queen, or Emerald Witch. Dude, you actually don't get to see the card. These are fun. See what happens if I keep pushing them. Hmm. Okay. What is this again? Lowers the power. Vincent?
It seems a transfer of ownership was in the cards after all. Be warned. That which appears a mere pastime is shrouded in darkness. I suggest you proceed with caution, lest it consume you too. This situation is graver than I feared. Here, yep. she'll guide you to the Queen. The rest is in your hands. Can I use it? Should be able to. I see you successfully obtained the Emerald Witch. I noticed the card was radiating energy, which I took the liberty of analyzing. It revealed the location of the Queen. Evidently, she resides within some ruins in the Gungaga region. The climax of this saga is nigh, and only you, the Blood Executioner, can bring it to a close. Best of luck. I kind of like my deck. I'm wondering if there's places I can change though, like this. Oh, I forgot this actually does have an ability. That's right. I forgot about that. Um, cards like this one, it's good, but it's like very specific. I do like that card. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to be co combining the black cat with the desert Sahagan. That's right. I forgot about that. There was a reason why I put that was in there and I couldn't remember what it was. And this is supposed to be a front runner. Yeah. Okay. And this one's actually been this one's been kind of killer for me, so I've been enjoying that. This just gives me extra ones, plus it just covers a good chunk, and it gives me an extra card to work with. I think I might replace this one though with another replacement card. Uh, however, I do need to put in the. Oh, actually, what are the new cards? Actually, I haven't looked at these. When first and feeble, lower the power of the enemy cards on effect tells by two. So that's similar to the... Yeah, the Gaga Hondi, whatever it's called. Just kind of reversed a bit. Enhanced, raise power of allied... Oh, it's a two-phase. When it's enhanced, raise power of allied and enemy cards on effective tiles by four. Enfeebled, lower the power by four. Oh, dang. So this is a. Uh... Oh, interesting. When enemy cards are destroyed, raise this card's power by two. Oh, I have to put that in. That's too good. Especially with how cards are being, or how enemies are using their, their hands now. They're destroying constantly. Yeah, I've got to throw you in and replace you with something else. Dang, that's what the card looks like. Oh my god. All right. Uh, I'm rolled away. Raise the power of allied and enemy cards on effective tiles by two while this card is in play. Dang. So it gives you the four cross, but it enhances everything around it. Dang, okay. Let's see, so what is yours? Replace an ally and raise the power of other cards. Oh yeah, right, it's one of those.
Hmm. Honestly, the Sufi one's probably not terrible. Very specific, though. I don't think my... I don't think my current ham will work with that, so let's not do that. Uh, I think I'm... Okay. So, I need to... At least I got rid of some cards here. Uh, this one's fine. It has its moment. Uh, do I really need this one as well? This one's fine. But it is the enhancements. I need that for other things. Get rid of that. Time to finally get rid of the Chocobo and Moogle. Alright, we'll try that. Alright, where are we going? Gaga, eh? Oh, it's in this area. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's go face our destiny. it is. Oh, Cloud. It's you. Didn't think you'd come. You mind? We'd prefer to have this conversation in private. Of everything. All How long I she had wanted that? Was to be worth something. Wow. Queen's blood gave me that. Got people to respect me. Fear me. Until I started fearing for myself. For what I might become. Because I can't keep winning forever. And once I start losing, I'll be worthless. A nobody! When I found her, I knew that I would never lose again. That I'd been chosen for something greater. That I was blessed. But this... This isn't that at all. It's been speaking to me. Telling me to give myself to her power. To dominate. I've tried not to for so long, but I, I can't. Regina? Ah, yes. I remember well this land, for it was once mine. Until that witch rallied the unwashed and put me to the sword. Well, little puppet. What do you say? Look, I'm straight a up in a freaking Yu-Gi-Oh match. Queen. I love it. 
For you, human, have a blood debt to pay in full. What is this music? All right, bring it on, Blood Queen. You are not my queen. Oh shit, she just starts on the deck. Alrighty. Oh, hey. Raise power by three for each other enfeebled ally and enemy card. Enfeebled. Okay. I gotta be careful of that. Damn, you're gonna have a sacrifice deck? Shit. Alright. I could make things interesting. Titan does? Oh, I thought that was... So wait, are you just gonna... Oh my god, okay. Yeah, okay. So does that come down to his I need... What is this deck? Right, I keep forgetting that I'm the cards are gonna die. By two? I thought it was on one oh my god.
Wow, I'm gonna have to make a deck for this fight. Holy dicks. Can't can't do any harm to it. Wow. Okay. Clearly they're not going to win this. But I just had to see. I can't do anything. Wow, okay. Okay, I want to try one more. I want to just I want to see if I can try and figure out what the hell to do here. And I'm going to stick with my deck. Fuck it. So basically every single card she puts down has the royal retainer on it. Wow.
Wow, okay, so I really need like a destruction deck. I need to destroy these goddamn cards. Either that or I need to take up pawn space. Because from the looks of it, it doesn't they don't have any replace cards. Okay. Doesn't matter what I do, I can't freaking win this. I used all my cards. Pathetic. I will give you one more chance. If you value your life, entertain me. Wow. Okay. But how do we counter this? How do we counter this? Ooh, add score bonus is probably important if I want to make sure I can steal some of these lanes. See what this gives me. So the thing is, is I'm going to get enfeebled pretty much no matter what. So can I clog the lanes as fast as possible? If I can bury, bury somebody deep into their zone and use this, then I can pretty much power down. God damn it. Fucking popcorn. Oh, that's right. Sephiroth's just destruction the man. But it's only for two, top and bottom. Dying is straight up five. And it takes the slot, which is actually important. I need to steal pawns. Dicks, if we can get Barrett up there, I can lower. Ooh, okay. If I do this, though, then I need to build. I need to get more pawns than just one. Well, let's put all the cards I think I can work with, and then we'll just modify as we go.
Ooh. When first and feeble, lower the power of enemy cards on effect tiles by six. So I can take out a top or bottom row. Oh, you are very important to have. By six. So I can clear a lot of room. Granted, I won't get the, t the pawns, but I can at least clear up room. It's a three. Mm. Mm. Destroy lower the power of allied enemy cards affected by tiles. Four. One is destroyed, which is gonna probably happen. So having some bombs to throw out, and it's a and it's a four square grab. Play destroy allied enemy cards on effective tiles. So yeah, so basically if I just play this, I can destroy whatever. Two with a three, which is pretty good. I'll just throw that up for the time being. One play, lower the power of allied enemy cards. I think they kind of made you a pre-made deck for this. Because that's looking... Hmm. I don't want to use it. I want to build my own. But I need to sneeze. I don't remember what Galleon Beast does. Or Galleon Beast. Might throw it in just for the fun. Plus, it's only a one. We'll see. Red. When first and feeble, lower the power of enemy cards on effect tells by. Oh, that's right, this card. Weirdly enough, I'm just going to go with what I have here because I'm curious to see what I can get away with.
Alright. Let's just try this. I'm just curious. I'm curious to see what works, what doesn't. And just go from there. Just take your life if you seek my death. Granted, I didn't put a, sh a shit ton of thought into this. More what seemed good at the time. Uh, sure. I just realized I have no replacement cards. Did take it, you piece of shit. Fuck, and there was no card on there either. Get. I just got dealt a pretty shitty hand. I can't do shit about this. Dang. So, already seen a problem with the deck. I need to put some replacement cards in. Focus too much on purely just trying to maximize efforts. That's not going to work here. Wow. Alright, let's try one more time just to see. Just to see if it wasn't just bad luck. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Fuck, I don't have the diagonal. Oh, that's piss off. So, the bat's a bad idea because it only helps the queen more. And that crit completely locked me. Jesus, she, she rushes you. She rushes your ass down, though. That's a problem. She is taking up real estate really fast. That's a big, big problem.
Wow. So this is a hell of a curveball. We will play until I have grown accustomed to this new body. Do try to make it interesting, won't you? Wow. Okay. So, what did we take from that? We took that she's rushing my ass down. She is trying to get her cards into my area as fast as possible. And she's got cards that will take over big gaps. So really no pawn is safe. Um, I need replacement cards. That's the thing I just discovered. Uh, I need to be able to destroy cards that I have to do damage and to make sure that I keep pawns on the, on the field. Okay. Okay, so what do we do about this? So I don't think these cards are going to do me any good because with all the enfeeblement going on, I'm just not going to be able to get anybody high enough in damage. But I think what it just comes down to, I need replacement cards to get rid of cards I don't need anymore. I think just, honestly, if just for now, just have the basic ones out. Granted, this is a pretty good one. I shouldn't... I guess that one for now. Uh, so, do you actually still might be good here if I can get him out? But enhanced. No, that won't work because in a few moments it's going to mess with that. I don't even know if it's really worth trying to go for these big threes. Because I think at this point I need, just need cards on the field. I think those are the only two big ones I really would like to have. <laughs> these cards are not even that good. At least for what I'm trying to do here. Granted, this one actually covers some weird angles, and that's actually kind of good. Those give me bonuses. If I can get this one deep in, that will help. 
Shiva can do some lockdown, actually. Raise power by two for each other enfeebled allied card. Okay. All right, hold on. Granted, I don't want these many twos, but that's fine. I can work around it. Granted, I'm not going to have all these. I need to take some out. Granted, I probably don't need all those replacement cards either. Just two would be fine. And I'll probably end up just going just insectoid because it covers four. Seeing some cards here. I'm just going to keep adding them until I've gone through the ones that I feel like will work. And then we'll... We'll decrease the deck down to what I need it to be. Granted, this one's just... If I can get it out and get it in the right spot, it's going to be super important to have. Yeah, so they made you a whole deck. So you can literally, if you don't want to go through all this, if you go to the pre-built decks, and you do strength and weakness, this is pretty much the deck that they built for you. To help with this fight. Played raise position ranks by two. That's actually kind of important for me. Let's at least throw one on there.
Play to lower the power, raise the power. This one's actually good at getting things to pump up as well. Just in case, I'll throw two in case I need it. Uh, effect of tiles, raise, get replacements. And that's the top. All right. So, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But only seven ones, which is not ideal. So, we'll get rid of this guy for now. Uh, well, like I'm thinking is... I probably don't need this guy. I just need to add another one of these guys. Let's throw another one of those in. Let me see. I don't think I need him. The only problem is I've got a lot of twos. And honestly, Dio's not going to work here. I need to get rid of him. And I think Barrett at this point is more of just like a trump card. So I think, honestly, I should probably have two of these guys. Got the bomb just for fun, I guess. Alright. Let's just try this makeshift one and see how it works. At least we can start to see where things are, are working and where they're not. To die, little puppet? I have a lot of two, so that's going to be hard to get around. Okay. Uh, Barrett, I don't need you right now. I don't need two of you. And just for now, I'm going to get rid of you. Just see if I can get some more ones in me. Okay, we're good. All right, better start. waited as long as I did. So if they steal that, I'm pretty much done. Yeah. Alright. Didn't want to use it up, but... Figured. Yeah, so they've got cars that'll just jump over other ones. And that pretty much screws me over. Alright, let's try this again. We're learning. Plus, there's a whole new deck. I really got to figure it out.
shit, wrong one. Fuck, I meant to put the Reaper tail. God damn it. I was looking at, I was looking too far ahead. That's gonna blow up my shit. Yeah, I fucked up. Fuck, got no cards to put down. Holy shit, this is hard. But We're on the right track. Granted, I also fucked up that one play. And as soon as I did that, everything went to shit. gonna take that I had to try so yeah I can't I can't sit back and try and build up I have to move forward because otherwise this happens and I'm basically down to two cards or two areas I'm gonna play it out though The other thing that I'm starting to realize is I think the middle one's the middle row is gonna be lost. I think what I have to do is I need to win the outsides. If I can take the outsides, I might be able to make up enough ground point-wise to counteract the middle. If I do this, they're going to take it, so it's... Hmm. Gives me 11, but that's not going to do anything for me. Yeah, I'm pretty much back in a corner, so let's just try things and see what works.
I don't have any cards to put down. And there's the other problem. I don't know. I don't have enough one cards, one pawns. Uh, so I think this bomb needs to go. I need to replace it with a one. And I think this has a hard limit as well. Okay. All right, let's make some micro adjustments here. I will give you one more chance. Yeah, shut up. So you need to go. I think only uh, the thing is, is this is, is good once I can get it down. All right, what have we got in the ones that I can work with here? Honestly, this is just straight up counter, or like helps counter the enfeeblement, which is generally not a terrible idea, actually. If you stake your life. Okay, we're gonna work this one out. It's gonna happen. I should have put one down in the middle, but that's all right. I don't want to lose this middle. Granted, I should do this because it's going to buff up those two, yeah. Plus, she only has one spot left, so... Okay. That is workable. Okay, so that gives me that. So that leaves them with an option of just a one pawn. So I'd rather them have to deal with a one pawn over a two pawn. So what do we do here? I think we slow lay down the beast here. Alright, what do you got? What are you gonna steal? Okay. So now I wish I had one more. Can take that one, which is fine. Fuck, that card is destroying me. Now here comes the question: Can they destroy? What? Wait, wait. What are we at? There's a chance. Fuck! Your cards are too good. They're too powerful. Oh, fuck. 
Damn, this card come out now would have been good before. We're on to something, though. We're on to something. I think I might want to put one more replacement card in. Either that or just try not to replace as much as often, but... The fight for the middle really helped. And locking them down to... Granted, I don't know if these cards... Because the cards that she's throwing down... I think a lot of them are supposed to be like twos and threes. I think that she can just put them down wherever she wants. I think they're all just one pawns. I should take a look at that, actually. Because she's got, what, Shiva, Leviathan, Ifrit, Odin. So, the, so she's rocking all the summons, basically. Yeah, because she put an Ifrit down. Is Ifrit one? Let's go look at that. Is it for a one? Because she put it down on a one. So pawn amounts may not mean anything. This is all going to come down to positioning. Granted, she was going to get the bonus from the Enfeeble Mint anyways. So yeah, she would have taken... She would have gotten enough points to, to, over, to overdo Do me anyway, so... Make it interesting, won't you? I was close. Okay, so let's go look at that really quick. So, if we go back into here, where the hell is Ifrit? There he is. Uh, Leviathan. Yeah, she's throwing down three. It's like, yeah, she's throwing out big cards. And I think her limitations is she doesn't have any, basically. Yeah, she's throwing this one down. Twos, whatever, but I think her card's working differently, so... I don't think I can count for a lot of these. Uh, is that Leviathan? Yeah, that's kind of what he's doing. Ramu, yeah. So, so the other thing we just figured out is that... She's not bound to having the right amount of pawns. Because she's just able to throw them down. Uh, I don't have an Odin card, do I? Is it this card? No, it's not that one. I don't think I have the Odin card yet. I'm not seeing it. But I've seen this one, and that one, and that one. And there's no way that those were all threes. Yeah, I don't have an Odin card. Okay. So, I think we're going to take out... The question is, which one do I throw out? I need another replacement card. Here's the thing. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to use Barrett. I want to keep him in. I'm going to hold on to him just a little bit longer. I might be able to find a use for him at some point. Red's just there, I guess, for the most part. Uh, you. Hmm. Might get rid of one of these. Okay, let's try that. Are you prepared?
Oh, you're a bitch. He's got a card that's going to take diagonal. I can almost guarantee it. If I do this, though, it kind of locks me out. Damn, she's already outplayed me. Granted, I do have two replacement cards, so I got to use these well. So I think the best thing I can do, I'm going to throw down red so I can dig in two spots. Worst case, she tries to take over, I can replace it. Yeah, that's what I figured. So, now, we do this bad boy. That means she's used up the middle, which is good. Eva, what are you doing? Okay. This is going to be fine. I can So I can lower the middle, but that's not a priority. Pretty much at this point, I've lost the middle. So we're not worried about the middle. For points, anyways. So lowering him does me no good. Okay, so. I need to steal. So we could replace, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. But I'm going to hold on to that one. Oh, you diagonal piece of shit. Damn it. I don't have any good diagonals. That's a problem. I can steal that one at least, but that's not going to do me much good. Good card. Damn. Okay. I'd rather you steal one than to have the option to steal two. Yeah, this card's starting to prove that it's not worth having.
I don't think I could beat 37. Plus, I plus she's gonna get a bonus when I put a card here. No, she isn't. Fuck yes! Oh, fuck you! Hell freaking god damn this game's so much fun. That was a good challenge. Oh, I'm so happy I built my own deck. Oh. Whew. All right. Ah. Impossible. What foul sorcery. Uh, a cursed witch. Even in death. You would thwart me! Cloud? You good? <laughs> you good? What about... She's gone. Oh, she is, is she? <laughs> Be still, little puppet. You belong to me now. Wow. Use the card. Don't you dare! Game over! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing! Genius crap go to my head, huh? After a while, losing became my worst nightmare. I'd do anything to win. And look where it got me. You are not to blame for this. Evil like that preys on our deepest, darkest fears and worms its way into our hearts. Few ever break free. You're the best because you worked your ass off, not because you're a genius. Got it? Got it. <sighs> well, on that note, I'd better get back to it. After all, there can only be one card queen. <laughs> <laughs> so next time you want to throw down, you best come prepared. Right. <laughs> Later! All's well that ends well, I suppose. Thanks to you. <laughs> Couldn't have you dying on me just yet. Yeah, what is this card? I probably can't have like the bullshit that happened in that game. Yes, everybody, welcome back. I'm here. I'm still alive, apparently. Blood Champion! God damn it. That was a fun... That was a fun final fight, though. 
it was nothing like anything else. You really had to make a deck. And like I, like I showed it as well, like there is the deck that they pre-built for you, which is probably going to work very well. But I didn't want to do that. This game's too much fun for me to just use something that somebody else built that you know is going to be a counter. Be able to go through the decks and the cards that I've acquired throughout the time and just figure out what works and still put my own little spin on it. Obviously, I needed to use very specific cards to ensure I got the damage, but it was a process of learning. It was a process of I'm going to lose the middle the middle row. That's just guaranteed. So now it comes down to what can I do to solidify the middle to help the other rows? So learning to get the top and middle row or the top and bottom row what do I need to do to make sure I match them and get as much as possible? And that was probably the the big turning point once I realized that. Because it's... In my brain, every time that you play this game, is I want to win every lane. This was like one of the first times where... You're screwed. You, if you want all lanes, have fun. You could probably do it. I, it would be pretty intense if you could. I don't know if that deck that they... Like that pre-made deck they made will do it, but... I like my way. It kept its, it kept it grounded and it still kept it intense. It came down to the last card I was able to put down. Also, I wasn't pulling any more cards. I actually used up all the available 15 cards that were there. So I kind of just got lucky and kept the cards I needed at the end, which was huge. Dang, that was a lot of fun. That, that's, Right now, one of the highlights of this this whole game for me.